So watch, watch. If I take it off and it snaps, it'll jump right back up, right? Huh? <laughs> that's pretty cool. See? Wait, do that again. <laughs> do it again. See, that's the the first time's a trick, the second time's a lesson. But see, uh, I'll, I'll try okay, to show you again okay. like that. What? <laughs> but <clears throat> that so that's a that's a ring trick. You could do you could do the same thing with a ring that you would do with coins, right? You hold on to it. And see, it's already gone. Where did it go? It's to the finger. But just misdirection and using stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> so Adam, uh, yeah. Adam Allred, that's you. That's he. That's his, uh, this is Seth. Seth. Hey. Seth Payne. He's also a, he's a young comic here too in in uh, Greensboro. He looks. And he was like, he wanted to know where I ran into where I ran into Magic Magic Boy. You know, I did not, not, not my phrasing at all. No, no, no. I didn't call you Magic Boy. No, 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 I'm calling you Magic Boy. He just okay. said, where'd you, where'd you guys, how do we. Magic Man. Yeah. yeah. How do you know Magic, <laughs> how do you know All Red Magic? Because he's seen you all over online and he's like, I'm a big fan. How do you know him? And I was trying to tell him that you used to be a comedian. That's how I met you. And uh, for a while he was like the house guy over in Win at Winston at the Laughing Gas. Oh, okay. So that was sort of his room and him and Alex, uh. Stone, Alex Zoe. Stone. Oh, nice. Yeah. And I guess Zoe was doing it too. Yeah. 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 I was sort of not going there as much when Zoe was there, but that's yeah. You guys. So that's where. And then you quit. Comedy. Yeah. yeah. What, what made you flip the magic? Well, actually, I guess you would say I flipped the comedy, because ah. I started doing magic when I was nine years old. Why? Why did I start doing magic? Yeah. <laughs> Um, do you remember like what made you go like, Oh, I want to do magic. Oh yeah. Yeah. My, my neighbor at the time he had, I don't know if he went to a magic shop or somewhere. He bought a magic trick and he came and showed me and I was like, Oh my God, that's, that's amazing. I want to do that to people. And, uh, I wanted to learn the trick and he made me give him my favorite action figure. And then he didn't give me the trick. He just taught me how it worked, and I couldn't do it without the thing, you know? But, yeah. Um, that was enough. It wasn't... What was the trick? Did he make it, like, disappear? It, it was... You you know it. It's the, it's the trick where uh, the magician makes a handkerchief disappear. Ah. By stuffing it into the thumb? I don't know if that's where it goes, Tom. Okay. Um, yeah. Are we revealing secrets on this? And isn't that a con? I, I don't know. I don't feel like I'm revealing secret. I guess that's still <clears> a secret. <throat> I, it's, I'm sorry. I don't really no, mean no, to. No, no, you're fine. But uh, man, I haven't seen Tom. How many years have, has it been since we've actually done this? I don't know. I guess it's been a while. It has. I should have hugged when I saw you. Like, <laughs> so, yeah, and so you got in here and Tom was like, we'll have you stand here. And there's, 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 like, stage directions. Good to see you, man. Here's some, here's your mark. <laughs> And but, don't move. And, and if you get up, move your mic everywhere you well, go. In my defense. And I was like, don't. And, and, I'll take care of that. This, you're, like, you're like, no wonder Tom has my friends. And he sat in a parking lot yesterday with his battery dead for three hours. <laughs> anyway, you're you're a magician. And you start doing magic. <laughs> it's a good segue. Right? And so I met you as a, you're a comedian. I didn't even know you did magic. And yeah. I didn't even know you did magic for about two, three years. Yeah, because I tried to keep them separate. Why? Don't ask that. Um, no, um, no. Why? Because like <clears throat> in the world of comedy or stand up, I felt like that was too gimmicky. Like I didn't want to. I didn't want to be the gimmick guy. Oh, it's Adam, the guy with cards trying to make people laugh. Or oh, whatever. he didn't want to have like something that made you stand out. You just wanted to. Do yeah, it. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Very smart business. You know well, what I'm plus saying? Also, like, <laughs> I wanted I wanted to write jokes that made the comedy and not rely right. on the magic because I've done the magic. As a crutch. He didn't want it as a crutch. Were That's you right. setting magic aside at that time and being like, I want to be a comedian? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I still practiced or whatever, but like, yeah, yeah. I didn't go out and like do shows or anything like that. Huh. But when I was 16, that's when I got my, my first restaurant gig doing, doing shows. Oh, nice. What was the first trick you perfect? Can you, can you show me that? Can you show me the, like, the first the, trick you kind of figured out? The first trick I've... Uh, Is it your best trick because you've been doing it the longest? No. No? No. See, and oh, no, this is ADD as hell, but I'm going to touch back to what you said earlier. You were saying how I've still got like a, a spark or whatever, like... So if you were to like talk with other magicians, especially older magicians and stuff, a lot of them will tell you, 
you learn 10 tricks and you do those same 10 tricks over and over and blah, 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 <clears throat> whatever. I've never agreed with that. I like doing magic. Right. And so like when I learn one trick, I might learn or come up with a couple different methods to get that end result. If that makes sense. Right. Some magicians just like they buy the trick and they, they do, learn the, they it learn they it do and that. they do that trick the whole time. Yeah. And then, and, and you, what you're doing is you do that trick and you're like, Oh, I could add this to that. And then, or well, I do that or, or, or tell or, it differently or do it in a different sequence to get to the end. Always play with it. And it, it's not that I don't use this version that I learned first or whatever. I just like to keep things fresh with me. Right. And so, like, I might have a version that I do while I'm sitting down. I might have a version that I do standing up or in front of people or, you know, that type of thing. So, in my head, I, like, mechanically, I would start redoing stuff to, to fit different scenarios, right? Right. That was fun for me because you don't ever want to do, like, a, or I don't ever want to do, like, a trick for somebody that requires a certain... Thing. It has to go step to step to step. Or, or Well, not just that, but like it requires like maybe a certain prop or something. <clears throat> and then they would, hey, could you show so-and-so this? And I'm, I don't have that with me. You know what I mean? And be like, well, I can't do that. Because like as soon as you say you can't do something, that already like tears away this the facade of, of an illusion. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Oh, you didn't bring your, you didn't bring your trick? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like if I saw you do a coin trick and then I was like, Hey, can you, we, and you're like, I don't have any coins. I'm like, well, use this pen. It's like, that's a different trick. It's a different shape. Tom. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I just think you can make anything disappear, yeah. but you could do the same. You could do the coin trick with a bottle cap or with a, there's probably oh, yeah, a few yeah, yeah. things that you can put in its place. Right. But yeah. Well, there's definitely things that like you see on my wrist here, the rubber bands. Get a good zoom on. No, um, yeah. <laughs> but I, I keep rubber bands on my hand because that's an ordinary object. But I can do a bunch of shit with rubber bands. Plus, it's stylish. What do you like? What's, what's something you can? What do, do you mean? Band. What's some things you can do with a rubber band? Okay. Got to put it on my thumb, Tommy. It's, it looks. Okay. All right. It's all right. On your, it's on you. He's so good. All right, now <laughs> let go for a second. All right. It's on my thumb. Which thumb is it going to? Oh, oh, sorry, this one. Okay. I, I'm just using this one just so I can wrap it. Okay. Now look, hold on to my thumb. Okay. Or the band. Hold on to my thumb. Okay. Hold on. To just grab his thumb. Dude. <laughs> look. All right. So I'm 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 secure. You're secure. This is how we go through, just like that. And it didn't break. I know it's not, I know it's not a fake rubber band. That's no, really good, man. So, so look here, I'll show you. I'll use a different color rubber band so you can kind of see it, right? Okay. All right, now let me see that one again. Here, put that one over these two. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to place this one behind it, right? So I can't come over the finger or the thumb of either hand, right? They don't separate in the center. It's locked. It's linked. But with friction, you can rub, and they'll come right through each other. I know he's looking all around. Look, here, look I'm going to try to give you the backstage on this I one. hate magic. Look, look. <laughs> look. You can see those are linked. They can't come over either finger or thumb, but watch my rub. They come right apart. Uh, look, point your fingers at each other for me, Tom. Curl it in. Curl that one in. Stretch this out here. <clears throat> now I'm going to come back behind you. On three. Do you want to see it go to the other side, Tom? Yeah, yes. All right, look. One, two, three. It goes to the other side, oh, Tom. Wow, that's... Oh, it's back again. <laughs> what? All right, yeah, the jokes are bad, but here's the matter. <laughs> you got to pull it off a finger, and they'll do that. I can't come over your fingers, right? Can't come through the middle. Raise up just a little okay, bit. Yeah, right, right there, right, right there. That's where it comes through. What in the fuck, dude? <laughs> That's where it comes through, Tom. I don't know what you want from me. Uh, you're still holding that. I know. <laughs> watch, watch, here. It breaks, and then you place it right back together. Wait, break it again? What? <laughs> <laughs> Break it again and put it back together. Like seriously, yeah. <laughs> no, seriously, do it again. Like I just want to see it well, again. You can do it. Look, hold yours. Hold yours just like it, right? Hold mine just like 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 this. Look, put your pinkies in there. Okay. So you see how it's kind of twisted here? Yeah. But listen, that's where it breaks apart. Look, and now you take the ends, you place them right back together, you twist, and see it goes right back. What? That's fucking cool. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's that's why I like you let go of it. Oh shit, he's trying to hurt me. I was <laughs> to hurt me. <laughs> if I was to watch that over and over, like in slow motion, would I see like, oh, that's how he's doing it, or is it? I don't think so. I don't know though. I mean, here we'll use a red band here. Are you left-handed or you right-handed, Tom? I'm right-handed. You're right-handed. Okay, so look. Here. I'm going to wrap this one around here. Hold, give me your right hand. Hold it just like this, okay. flat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So look, red. One, two, jump right onto your hand, just like that. <laughs> okay. And that's, a, yeah, it's a regular band. <clears throat> Can you do more than one band at a time and do that? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure you could. It'd be the same method, but yeah. <clears throat> now look, if you, if you break, if you can break it. I'm gonna show you if you break a band, how you can fix it. And it seems self-explanatory, but a little knot like that. Right? Yeah. Now do me a favor, Tom. Pull on that, make sure that's a real knot. That doesn't come off. Oh, you're pulling one side. That's okay. gonna. That's gonna screw it up. Yeah. That's all right. There you go. I was tightening it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a real knot. That's Get to good. know it. Be well, intimate with that I was gonna see if knot. it did that thing where like. Get naughty. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay. Sorry. All right. We'll let, no, we'll he's we'll like trying. We'll edit that part out. Yeah. He's trying to like move it around and shit. Well, you know, like on rope slide. tricks, they have you, on rope tricks. Sometimes the ripped up part they slide around and it's like. Oh no, that so doesn't that doesn't work with a rubber band. But see, look, you grab the knot. Look. You pull it off, and look, you can just set it right back on there. Wait, pull it off again? That is what? correct. What? See there, you can check it out. No, wait, I want to pull it off. Yeah, go ahead. Knock yourself out, Tom. Huh. <clears throat> That's crazy. Can you fix this one? Hmm. I tied it. Remember, I showed you how. Oh, I have to use my tongue, like a cherry, like a cherry stem. Mm-hmm. Um, like, Just your tongue. I want to watch that. Yeah. Uh, the um, uh -huh. there's not a, there's not magic rubber bands. No. <laughs> so, so have you always done rubber band tricks, or is that something you saw somebody do and you're like, oh, I can do rubber band tricks? That's probably um, one of the first. Okay, so I'll teach you one. You want to learn one? You get the unbroken one. So you just put this one back together. This. <laughs> listen, here he is challenging me again. <laughs> So th this th this is probably one of the first rubber band tricks I learned, and this is uh, one you learn from. Uh, I learned from David Copperfield. He showed it on a TV special or whatever. So you place the rubber band around your first two fingers, right? right. Not going anywhere. Well, there it will. Sorry, let's start that over again. <laughs> this is a trick, <laughs> but it's a simple kid's trick. You place the rubber band around your hand. You close your fist, right? right. You see it over these two. Watch you wave your hand over it, and look, it jumps. Now, you can do it a more complicated way by putting it over your hand, taking another band, and uh, look, you lock, you lock in between each fingers, right? So it can't leave these two fingers. Watch, I'm going to try to give it to you here. You snap, and there it jumps, right? So that's a very simple. You can find that trick anywhere on the Internet and learn it. But all you got to do to do that trick is be able to open and close your hand. So if you place it on your first two fingers, when you pull it tight, you put all four fingers in it on this side, and then open your hand. Okay, and it just flips to And it pivots. Yeah, it pivots like that. So even when you put the, uh, the band over it like this, it's still pivoted in between this point. But yeah, so like, that would be an example of probably the first rubber band trick I ever learned. And then how long do you... Like how long does it do you work with it before you're like, okay, I got it, I can show it to people. Well, something like yeah. that as a kid, that's one of those things like where you you do it and then you're like, Oh, that worked. All right, hey dad. Oh yeah. You yeah, know? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know. Would you say that that's sort of been your first fan? Like and he's like when you open like it, it's like go tell go show it to dad or show it to your brother or is it what? You know, dad dad's the yeah, dad's the one I could I definitely go show to. Um, and he's also the one that I'll like tell the methods to after I'm done. So what do you think? You know, did you see this or this? And, you know, whatever. Uh, mom is not the one 
to go to. Mom's the one she wants to mess it up. Hold your hand here. Wait, this hand? Uh, you know, she, yeah. you know, she's trying to mess it up every time. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think that's a natural. I have a little natural tendency to be like, all right, how do I make it a little? Oh, I know, because you're devil's advocate, Tom. Yeah. So you naturally learn how to, how to deal with people like yes. that. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And how bad do people get on that on that extreme? Uh, not real bad usually. I, yeah. You know, it, it, I think it depends a lot on who you are. Like, I'm confident with what I do. So if you challenge me to do something, like, fuck off. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. like I'm going to show you what I know to do. If you want to see me do something, I don't give a shit. Yeah. Like, you know, I'm going to show you what I know. Um, <clears throat> huh, you know, it's interesting because, like, I like when I watch you do it, I'm like, oh, how does he do that trick? I want to know how to do that trick. But I don't really because once I know how to do the trick, I'm a, I, I'm a little like, okay. Uh, you know, it removes the Even illusion. that, like, I'm like, oh, I could learn how to do that pretty quick, but I'm not going to. I'm not going to sit there and practice it. I'm not going to. Oh, there's no practice that. You could do it. It's opening your hand. That's Give me a. Because uh, 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 Copperfield, you know, he taught, I know this trick, he used, you could do it with that. Okay. Uh, it's on these two fingers. It's it's on these two fingers. So you, the back of your hand be toward me. You're okay. showing it's on here. You're going to pull this tight, close all four, let it snap against all four. Okay. And now open your hand. You you only have one finger in it on this side. You got to put all four in it like this. So I'm like this. Mm-hmm. And, yep. Make sure your pinky's in there. Is your pinky in it? Yep. Okay. Open your hand. That's it. That's it. Why does it go to these two instead of back on these two? Because these are the smallest? No, it'll, it'll, it'll go back the other way if you do it the other way. Well, I was putting all four in there, and then I opened it up, and it yep. goes. But, That's right. Because, but, but if it's you got to look at it from my angle. From my angle, it looks like it's just on these two over here. Right. So you see, and now. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. You're a magician, Tom. Yeah, dude. I'm a quick learner. So magic isn't really that hard. <laughs> I can do magic. Don't make me break out the cards. Is that ring a specific magic ring, or is that just one of your a cool ring that? You no, have? that's just a just a ring. Here, you want okay. to check it out? So watch, watch. If I take it off and it snaps, it'll jump right back up, right? Huh? Hmm. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Wait, do that again. <laughs> do it again. See, that's the the first time's a trick, the second time's a lesson. But see, uh, I'll, I'll try okay, to show you okay. again like that. What? <laughs> But <clears throat> that so that's a that's a ring trick. You could do you could do the same thing with a ring that you would do with coins, right? You hold on to it and see it's already gone. Where they go, it's to the finger. But just misdirection and using stuff like that's. Can't tell if he's mad at me or not. No, no, no. I'm amazed by. It. I don't know. I'm like a little kid amazed by like a simple trick, like well, a, like a like a. I, and, I, and I use my ring for magic some, but I, I don't use it a lot. Like a lot of times I'll use stuff like this. This is what you, this is called imagination. See, when I use, when I have you use your imagination, what do you picture right there? Um, uh, Oreo cookie. Oreo cookie is close. It's actually a silver dollar. Okay. You see, and I use that as misdirection so you don't see where this silver dollar came from, right? And when I do that, people say you should go to Vegas, but in Vegas they use chips. Oh shit! What? Um, yeah, <laughs> use chips. Now here, you help me with this one. You take that chip. I'm just kidding. It's not there. Oh, okay. My <laughs> it's it's actually a trick. I can wave and see that one will disappear too. Whoa. Right. And that leaves you with one chip. Now, if you're good, you can take and just rub that chip. Watch one, two, three, and it'll turn right back into money. If you leave Vegas with money, you're better than I am, Tom. What the? <clears throat> so. That was like four tricks in one trick. <laughs> is that what you're talking about before, or is that was that all one trick? Like as you do a trick for a while, do then then you start adding stuff onto it, or do you just do yeah. it? Yeah. Well, sometimes, sometimes no, because sometimes uh, you 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 just love a trick the way it is, right? Right. All right. So then, so so now you're uh you're so you're when you were a kid and you start doing them and you're doing tricks for your dad and your buddy and stuff. And then, like, do you develop a show, or do you just keep having fun, like, with your friends at school? Now you're starting to do it at like lunch, and then you like know, like, okay, so a couple years ago it was before the pandemic. I did some shows at High Rock Outfitters, you know, right? 
And so I done two shows in like, I think it was in like a six month period or whatever. Were those but, your first magic shows? Uh, no, that wasn't my first magic show. But it, well, it was my first uh, like stage show. Yeah. Um, but the challenge to myself was I want to do these shows and I want to do two completely different hours because I know all this stuff. So it's like, I want to see what I can do. And so the, the first show we, he booked me on that show. We announced, I announced it and like, in like five days it had sold out before the show. And like in those five days is when I was creating the show. Right. Right. But you knew you had enough trick or you saw you, you sort of, well, you your know, ego this, told you, Oh, I got, I got tons of tricks. This is where I think comedy helped me being, being a writer in comedy because what was easy for me to do is yeah, I have all these tricks. Just like you've got all these jokes, right? I've got all these tricks. So what I wanted to do was put together the story. Right. So I just had to sit down and say, okay, what story am I telling? And so I went back and done like, it was basically the history of, of myself and magic is what it was. Yeah. And I started out doing. Be surprised a, how many guys use that exact story. What? Or that structure. Like when I go see when the, there's a lot of times there's a magic shows on the ship and it's like oh the they, history of they, this? they're like they normally the standard structure is. Here's the guy that here's a picture of the guy that inspired me. Here's one of the like I, I started doing comedy, well, you know what I mean. And then they mm -hmm. sort of get into the, then they sort of the story of their life unfolds, and then it ends with like a, a trick that. for their grandma or something. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, I didn't get that in. Okay. <laughs> but no, yeah, I, I just uh, I thought when I was piecing it together, I was like, you know what, I would like to pay homage to like where I started in magic. So I literally started the show doing a different variation of the Vanishing Silk, right? right? And uh, and I told the the story with it, like of my neighbor and him making me give give him my action figure, and everything, which I've not forgiven him by the way. For that. You never gotten the action figure back? No, uh, no, uh. nope. But he never got that hole in his tire back. Either, <laughs> <you know? laughs> no. Um, but no, I so so like that was the first show I done. The second show should make the action figure appear at the end of the show. <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, and they're like, Oh, look, you know, what's funny about that is like, uh, like after I was an adult, I, I like eBayed one time. I was like, I gotta find that action. figure. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't. Oh, you but, never looked it up. Uh, well, no, I looked it up, but I never found it like for sale or whatever. Oh, that's what's how rare it is. Figure? Oh what man. Was it was a, uh, it was a venom figuring oh, from nice. spider-man yeah. but it was the one where you could take off venom's you it. it was like a red i mean yeah. a rubber mask uh-huh oh okay. and it had eddie brock's head underneath you yeah know? i had one that flipped it was like his head he had two heads uh-huh the, like they were all flip. like on a yeah thing. And it flipping his back yeah that one was awesome that does sound cool yeah where's that at? i want to take it um i don't know what happened to that thing. <laughs> I need to replace mine. yeah <laughs> yeah um and then the, like the second show I didn't want it themed. I just wanted to do magic and have a good time. And so it was basically like a, a semi-improv set in a sense of I knew what routines I was going to do. I knew what I was going to do as my closer and my opener. Right. But in the middle, I just I free, I freestyled it. So did you know, like... Not going, not just for that show. I'm, I'm, I'm specifically thinking like the first time I started to see you do magic mm -hmm. would be like after the comedy show, sort of in the bar and in the thing. Mm -hmm. So did you, do you before you start doing magic? Let's say at the end of the show for people like me and other people, do you already sort of have in your head like I have ten tricks with me? I know what I'm gonna do or. Would it just be like, you don't even have anything on you. You're just like, hand me that salt shaker, blah, blah, blah. That's kind of it. That's, you don't have, really? Mm -hmm. So do you do you know how, do you have sort of a closer set in mind for that that night at the bar? Or do you just, you know, I, how, how do I, you sort of gauge when you're doing it live like that sort of in the moment? You, I, I don't know how to explain that. I guess I just ride the wave, man. Like... I go off the energy of it, like if, if they're really into magic, 
Um, and let's say I don't have a lot of stuff with me or, or anything with me and there's not really that much to work. Like here, like what I'm looking at here, if I would have brought nothing today, I would figure out something real quick to do with, the, with your baseball cards. I would, I would do something with the, these ink pens here. Um, I might Can you do – what do you mean? What? Like with, what? With the ink pens? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, so like with a pen. I haven't done this one in a while, so let me get a warm-up phase in here. You can still record it, but... Were you doing this so you could get the stuff out of your sleeves? No, no, no I'd roll up my... Oh. I always roll up my sleeves because everybody <laughs> says, oh, it's in his sleeves, but yeah. I'm not going to make anything disappear here. Okay, so No what? magician has shit in their sleeves, right? Uh, oh, okay. I won't say no magician, but this one, though. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, okay, so he uses, he uses a pen here, right? So, the, the trick here, and like I said, I'm going to... This first one's a practice run, okay? So I'm going to tell you what's going to happen before it happens. The, the pen's going to spin around my thumb and over to the cap. So let me get the spin down first. Okay? All right. Kind of like an acrobatic thing here. All right, on three. One, two, three, around the thumb, into the cap. No. Nobody's <laughs> impressed by that. That's a no. You you want to see something different. Look here. We'll take the cap. We'll snap. It'll disappear and go across to the other side. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so here, I'll, I'll let you see it this time. And look, I'm going to give you a better angle on it, per se. Okay. Because I'm not going to shut my hand. You'll see the cap disappear and go to the other side, right? Watch here. It happens. Oh, wow. They just rolled it. I was like, no, wow. That was just gravity, Tom. I'm not mad. <laughs> I'm like, wow, science is amazing. <laughs> so, look, I rub here for misdirection. I tap here so you don't see it go to the other side. What right? the fuck? That's just quick hands, man. Come on. What? Okay, look, I'm going to give you the backstage it's view this time. Watch. Tap. Did you see the pin disappear this time? I saw you put it behind look, the ear. Yeah, yeah, behind the ear. Watch. Watch the cap, though. See, if I wave over it with the pen, see, now the cap disappears. You see where it went? Did no. You, did you oh, it? yeah. <laughs> it's in my ear. <laughs> Watch, I'll put the pen right back in the cap like that. There's no pen. Huh? Oh, here, take the cap in here. Watch. And see, that cap disappears because it's in this pocket and the pen's in this pocket. And so there's a pen trick. That's nice. pretty cool, man. I thought we'd try something different. Like, okay. this isn't a card trick. It looks like a card trick. But, um, but here's something I want, I want you to see. This is something new, and this is something that's going to give you an opportunity to kind of catch me with it, right? I'm using four cards. Joker's on top. Huh? Well, no. Actually, you don't even have to remember values. They're all four jokers. Oh, okay. Okay? So what's, this is what the move looks like. I haven't done it yet, okay? Okay. But it's called the turn. Look, it's called the turn. Did you see it? No, all I saw you do was slide your hand like this. Ah, right? so you didn't see me flip that card over oh, at the center. No, I did not. See, that, see, you cause one card to flip over like that. Now watch here. We'll try it again. We'll turn. We'll turn these over. We'll leave that one turned different. So that's one turned over, right? right? Watch the turn again. Did you see it that time? Yeah, that time I get a second one to turn over in the center. <clears throat> this time I'll separate the hands. That way it gives you more to watch. But I'll do it slowly so you don't know where to watch. So there was two. Look, it looks the same, but see another one. What the fuck? What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know that's that's how it goes. Now this is called the spin. Did you did you notice at that time? See when you spin it, see that causes them all to go face down, right? That, you want to see one turn over? This is what it looks like. Okay, we'll keep it invisible though. I'll do the hop. See that causes one to turn over. If I do the turn, that causes two to turn over. Now look, I could fix these two. Like that, nothing's happened yet, Tom. But whenever we turn over, that's what one looks like. That's crazy. I'm literally watching intently, trying to watch. Like, okay. <laughs> see, watch, I can get it to go back. Okay. Did you see it when I squared it up? No. See, when you square it up, that's when it goes back. Mm. <clears throat> it's, hard to, it's, it's hard to catch it. It's real hard of to catch. Of course it's hard to catch. That's why it's magic. <clears throat> But, it's uh, really good, man. Oh, thank wow. you. So let's get a full pack here. Now, this isn't actually cards. These, let me make sure they face down. Yeah. Name tags, all right? They're not name tags, but they're name cards. And I don't want you to see the names on them yet. 
Okay? Okay. <clears throat> so do me a favor here, Tom. Okay. Is your, by the way, is your first name Tom or is it Thomas? It's Thomas. Like technically it's Thomas, yeah. It is Thomas. Yes. Okay. Like the doubter? <laughs> so take one finger, go down through the spread, and when you get the feeling for just one of these, I want you to just slide it forward to right here. To you? Yeah, okay. Or you can pull it back to right here, either way. Okay. I, when I get the, when I feel the pull? Yeah, when you get a feeling for one of them, just one, slide it out there. Now, now okay, that's the one. Now look, I'm just gonna gather these up, okay? Okay. Now, Tom, let me ask you, did I force you in any way to pick that car? Uh, you know, uh, no. 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 I'm trying to figure out if, because I know mm. there's a way. So would you I know be... there's a way magicians, like, can kind of influence you to pick a specific card or force you to but pick I a card. But I have them spread out here. I know, but yeah. So would you be impressed if you turned that card over and it had your name on there, your full name spelled correctly? I mean, yeah. That would? I don't want to get near it. Slowly, right now, slowly, turn that card over. Slowly, turn it over, Tom. You said slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn it over. I'm slowly. Show everybody. Now, you know how to write your name on a card, oh. okay? Yeah, All right, that's the trick, not the magic, <laughs> you know? <laughs> the level of disappointment right look, now. They're look, all blank. They're right? all blank. And now look, I want you to really write your name nice and big on the face of that card. Okay. Because do you want look, it to be Thomas or can I just... It, you can do Tom, it doesn't matter. No, I don't even know how to do my own name. Tell me all... It'll be Thomas. Tell me all... all right. That's how Thomas is I spelled. Know that. So <laughs> I had him write his name on there because yeah. look, if he would have picked, let's say, this card right here, right? <laughs> Thomas. Thomas. <laughs> If he would have picked this one and I squared it into the center, I gave him a dribble like this and I snapped my fingers and I said, look, Tom, your card jumped to the top. You wouldn't believe me because all these look the same. But now we've got one with your name on it, right? That right. doesn't rub off. That's real Sharpie. So look, I'm going to take your card and place you down exactly in the center of the pack. That's not the center. What? That's like th three quarters of the way down. You know what? I hate a perfection. So we'll start that over. <laughs> all right? So... <laughs> What? You asked for it, Tom. <laughs> look, we're going to go into the center. Now, look. That's the that, center. That's closer, right? Yeah. Now, look, we'll square it in. You're going to see it as a dribble. You're going to see it rise all the way up to the... T Wait a second. It's sound activated. you got to snap and see it'll oh, jump to wow, the top. <laughs> right? So, here. I'm going to leave it face up this time for you. Okay? Okay. Now, you can see. That may not be the exact center, but that's yeah, pretty yeah, close, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Watch. Square it in. And it doesn't jump to the top. It doesn't jump to the That's bottom. Cool it's not that. your card that jumps, Tom. It's your signature. What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? It's sound activated ink, I told you. Whenever I snap, you'll see it jump to the top. That's pretty damn good, dude. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. So you figured it out yet? No. Now watch, watch. I've, yeah, That's, you that's Sharpie. It doesn't rub off. I can't. Oh, wait. Now, let me lay that right there on those. It's hard to see, but what do you see here? Nothing. Nothing. What do you see here? Nothing. Nothing. It's because I laid your name right here, Tom. That's so <clears> good. <throat> Wasn't that good? That's Zach? awesome, yeah. All right, we'll come back. Come back to it. You said Pick you a hated different magic one. magic earlier. I never said that. Okay, that's true. Pick a different one out here. Okay. All right, and now are you sure? I'm Let's sure. show the camera here. Look, look. Blank on both sides, right? Now, do me a favor, Tom. Uh, you, you still got the marker. Uh, draw a picture. Like here on this card, like just a star, a smiley face, whatever you feel like drawing. I'm gonna put the rest of these over here. That is that me? I don't know what that is. I just want to. That's Owen when he was I just a baby. To be happy. I just wanted to be happy. <laughs> All right. You know what I think about my magic marker? What I hate about it is what? it always it always doesn't work the first time like it's supposed to. Uh huh. And then it's like <laughs> ah, it doesn't work. You so know, look, Tom, Tom yeah. ass. We're gonna keep you on bottom. We're gonna keep your drawing here on top. Now look, I'm gonna to try to grab that ink. Look, one, two, three. Just like that, I pull the ink right off that card onto Thomas. What, what the <laughs> fuck? What? I can't, we can't use that on Instagram. What? Because I yelled, what the fuck? <laughs> I have to have another one. What the, what the, what the fuck? fuck? <laughs> what was the word you said earlier? Fook. Fook. Yeah. What the fuck? 
That's a really good trick, man. Oh, thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> now, if I would have turned this over before I started writing, obviously my name, I, you See, already, that was, that already trick did the was switch. was going to be done with you and Zoe where each one of you signed a different card and ended up on the same one. So you had to improvise because we didn't have another person here. That's why I had you draw on the other side, yeah. Well done, man. That's a really good trick. So... So did you have a like a stage show that you did before you did stand up or and then and where you were doing a stage magic show? No, I, I was always a walk around magician, like a restaurant magician. Um, whenever. So what was your first? Cause sit down and grab a mic or whatever. Okay. What was your first gig that you got? Like as like where like you were like a seventeen year old and you got a. Okay, no, when I was, I can't remember if I was fifteen or sixteen, but my very very first show was <clears throat> a teacher of mine. His father-in-law, I think it was. It was his 60th birthday party. And so I would say I did I did a close-up stage-ish type show there because they all sat down out in front of me and I stood up, you know. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but that was the first time I'd actually gotten hired doing magic. And, and uh, the father-in-law, he owned a print company. And they printed me my very first business cards. That okay. was, that was part of my pay. Um, <clears throat> and and what was the question? So I meant I was trying to figure out if like you already had a, like a magic show that you did, or because you started doing stand up, you started doing stand up, and then you were like, oh. And then you, when you started doing your show at when you did High Rock Outfitters, you were like, that's where you were like, oh, I need to build a whole show. And because you'd done stand up, and you saw how. Mm -hmm. It, long that, the show went or how the flow of a show went then you were like oh now i'm now i know how to build a show that was uh, i would say hot rock was probably definitely the first time i like did a put together a show ah, that's crazy it. so this is to me that's i mean i guess that's still 10 15 that 10 was, years but yeah, more than 10 years like in you know i've been doing magic since i was nine yeah no, but i know mean, but i mean that was maybe 10 years ago like it's pretty recent oh it's it's i think i think it was seven years ago God, that's, so you're just recently starting doing live like show shows in the mm -hmm. last seven years yeah and then you were doing i remember you started doing um like old folks home because once you were making money as comedy those, you're yeah. like i'm not going back to real world job i'm figuring <laughs> yeah. out a way to perform <laughs> yeah and then you started doing old folks homes or something well i done uh i done a couple <laughs> they weren't like old folks. it was um uh, not it wasn't like assisted living. Like now, you take your life support. Do they even call them old folks' homes anymore? <laughs> Look what happens when I pull this cord? Uh, Look what happens when I make your health insurance disappear? <laughs> but it was like um, elderly living communities, I guess you'd say. Yeah, old like, folks. It's yeah, basically, but it was it was rich old people that like you know. I remember when retirement community. That's it, retirement community. That's yeah. better. Like, I remember when you first started doing them. You were you were running into like. First of all, you have to start doing obviously clean, whatever, and then but then you ran, started running into like old people are freaked out by magic. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes they are, yeah. Because well, I remember you being like they get really uncomfortable with it because they think it's from the devil, and yeah. So that's a real thing. In some in some people, yeah, for sure. Um, especially in older, really religious people, that's the devils. You know, that's the devil. Get away from me. Really? Anybody, yeah. Like, oh, ever yeah. tried to get you to leave? Have they been like? Um. So I was doing a. Uh, you should do some stuff with crosses to get them over that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was I was working. I won't I won't say the fast food chain, but it was uh, a chicken restaurant that hates gay people. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was I was working for them. Uh, can we edit that part? No, no, you're not, <laughs> not, not, not that um, shit. Chick fil A, dude. You did Chick fil A. Yeah, yeah, okay? I did Chick fil A. And so there was an old lady there, um, and I approached her table. I don't approach and just, like, trick, trick. You know, I, I introduce myself, you know. I, I try to let people know. That seems awkward. as Like, restaurant magic just seems awkward. No. Nah. Okay, so. What do you mean, no? Well, I figured, I, I figured it out now. I've been doing it a long time now. But, like, I didn't have this, the system I do now when I did this Chick-fil-A, granted. But um, so I walk, I walk over to this lady that's sitting there by herself. I start a conversation with her. She's as friendly as can be. And then uh, 
and I, was, I, I think I, I think I opened up with, um, I'm here uh, providing entertainment for the night, and then we, she started talking and blah blah blah. So then it led to her saying, "So what kind of entertainment do you do? Do you do you sing or something like that?" And I was like, "Well, I'm actually here doing magic." And she's like, "It was like I felt like a telemarketer or something." She's like, no. No. <laughs> she shut down on me from being sweet old like, no. Mm-mm. Yeah, get away I, from me, magic I, I, I said, no, no, no. She's like, no, no, that, that's the devil stuff. She said, that's the devil stuff. Huh. And and I said, no, no, it's not. I said, it's just entertainment. I said, I'm not, I'm not pulling any curses or anything. I don't like that. Don't, don't. And so I couldn't even show her anything. I just had to walk away from her. I said, well, I'm sorry about that. You have a nice day. Yeah. And then they had given me gift cards to give out, right? And now here's another thing. Um, uh, some guys like, uh, tougher black gentlemen, you know, they, they, yeah, they get alpha with stuff. Right. Hmm. And so I approached this guy that was waiting in line. I had these free gift cards from Chick-fil-A. I, I, I said, Hey man, you want to win something free? And he's like, nah, I'm good. And I, I was like, you don't want something for free? I said, I, I said, I've, I've got some gift certificates here. I said, we play a little game, you win the gift series. Said, nah, I'm good. I said, I'm a magician. I said, just if you, I'll show you a trick, you get a free gift certificate. And he was just like, I said I'm good. Yeah, I can see why he like he's already said no three times. I was like, okay, <laughs> that, 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 that's where you learn, you know. That's where yes. you learn. It's, yeah, I don't give people three times. They say it's one no, and I'm done now. Oh, uh, okay. You don't even give them a second chance to be. Okay, that's and, fair. And, but now also, I don't even give people a chance to say no, to be honest with you. My system now, what I worked out was, was I, I bought these little tea light candles, right? The little electronic candles. Yeah. I put them out on every table. I'll walk up to you if you're sitting at a table. I say, hey, I, I just want to let you know, my name's Adam. I'm the magician here. Um, I put these little candles out on the table. These are like my bat signal. You turn these on, it lets me know you'd like to see some magic, and it makes it okay for me to come in a row. That's a great method. <clears throat> and so I, I started doing that, and if they don't turn on the light, I don't, I don't, I don't reapproach their table. Right? You should walk by and go, and then you got like a little control <laughs> now, in your pocket, and it turns it, on. If it is slow, and they haven't, tur- like if, if it's slow at the restaurant, and I'm bored, and they haven't turned on their light, I, I, I approach them a little, I'll approach them a second time. And, I, and I'll say, hey, guys, uh, look, before you leave here, I just want to show you something that I do. Uh, because I know you hear a magician, you probably thought, oh, he's got a fucking rabbit in his hat. You know, I don't do that kind of shit. Right. And, and, and I'll tell people. Now, depending on their age group, I may not cuss. But you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you little fuckers. <laughs> yeah. like, I, don't, I don't pull no goddamn rabbits out of it. <laughs> but I'm as natural as I can be right. based off of what vibe I'm getting from them, right? Um, but nine times out of 10, they're like, oh, okay. Okay. I'm sitting here eating mm-hmm. and, and you, you, you go ahead. You, you approach me. I'm sitting here. I'm, I'm eating, but you don't have a candle, whatever. I, I, my candle, my, you just come up and I mean, without your old system. Here we go. All right. Oh, my old system. Whatever. You got a trick you're going to do. Hey, how's it going, sir? Uh, my name is Adam or I'm, I'm the magician here tonight. Um, would, would you mind seeing some magic while you wait, or or you want to eat first? I can come back around. Um, you die a slow, painful death. What's going on? I, I'm, this is. I'm just, you know, I'm just sitting here eating a meal, dude, by myself. I'm, you know, I'm in. We're in, I'm trying to read this article. Oh well, go ahead, man. I just want to let you know. If you want to make your evening a little bit better, that's what I'm here for. Okay, I'm. I'm a lot more interested in that article. I promise. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. What do you? I mean. Do they pay you? What do you, I mean? Oh, no, it's not going to cost you anything. Just your time. All right, let me see a trick. Let you see a trick on Yeah. You, have you ever seen close-up magic before? I've seen magic. You've seen magic? I got a buddy that does magic. I got a couple, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, are you into science or anything like that? What? In the science. I don't know about what in the science. Well, means, what I mean by that is, let's say, for example, do you believe in time travel? I don't. That's it's gonna a, get deep. It is a yes or I no question. I, well, I, that's I. I believe it's possible. I don't believe it's. Uh, you it's, don't think it exists yet. Is no, that what you're exactly. Saying? All right. So let's let's Which try. Means something it probably out doesn't here. exist because if it time travel existed, 
then we wouldn't be here. Right? Or that somebody right. would have traveled back and told us about it. So do you play cards at all? Sure. Here, mix those up for me. All right. Should be. Looks normal. Looks normal? Yeah. I don't really know that I've seen a green deck. Oh, Bicycle makes them in all colors. Yeah? Yeah. It's got sound of kind of a St. Patrick's Day feel to it. I got them because they match my marijuana. Oh, yeah? I'm a, I'm a police officer? It's in the car. <laughs> <laughs> so let's keep uh, any talk of illegal substances. Oh. <laughs> keep that to yourself. So do me a favor. I'd say we're going to do something with time travel, right? <laughs> so I want you to pick out a card. Okay. Now, wait. I'm going to look. I'm going to separate it right where you pick it. Okay? About halfway through. Yeah, that's a little more than halfway, but uh, <laughs> go ahead and look at the card. You can show Seth if you need to. Nice. And before we put it back in the deck, I want you to take a mental picture of this moment right now. Okay? Just this moment. Beautiful. Okay. You got it? Now, if we were to, if I were to spread these back out, do you think you could touch the same card again? Did you, did you touch the same one? No. All right, now. <laughs> you got disappointed. No. I would have been very cool. confidently, didn't I so, do the confident yeah. thing right there? So watch here. I'm going to take the, I'm going to mix these face up and the face down like this. You know what this is called, Tom? A complete mess. Yeah, it is a complete mess. All right, now look. That, that brings us to this card. Now, that wasn't your card, was it? No. All right, this tells me something about your card. Your card was a cherry colored card, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. It also tells black me cherry. I'm going to get black cherry. Is it? <laughs> All right. I'm going to get four tries to find it. And that's going to okay. be, that's, that may not sound impressive, but look, they're mixed in different directions. We got face up, face down. We might have some that are face to face. Now, was it any of the face up cards that I cut to? No. It wasn't? No. Okay, All right, that's fine, that's fine. And it wasn't the four? No. All right, do me a favor. You said you're right-handed earlier, right? Yes. So do me a favor. Take the four, and I want you to tap it like that on the deck. And see, when he does that, we go back in time. See, every card in the deck's face down. Actually, we go back in time. Remember, I told you to take a mental picture of this moment here. That's the it. cards are spread. You're holding your card. Remember that? Look at it. Wow. wow that's pretty cool, dude. I right. thought it was going to be right What's there. Because I was like, that looks like the spot where I put oh, it. Oh, that was your card? Yeah. That was? Yeah. I th see, I thought he picked the four. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's it. <clears throat> That's really good, dude. That's really good. Yeah, you know, it's like, I like a, when you got back to the, when you got back to the thing, I'd forgotten about the mental moment picture thing mm -hmm. that I did, but when you went back to it, I, even before you said it, I was like, ah, that, it, it looked familiar because I had spent the mental time of, like, p picturing that moment uh -huh. it reminded me it like literally reminded me of like oh that is the moment that's why i thought it was right there that's so let's, cool. let's let's try something a little different then all right so look i'm gonna, I'm gonna i got a little heart here yeah <laughs> smell like you are. now i'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen with this trick before it even happens okay your card is gonna end up under my heart yeah yeah of course it does okay why would you not know how the trick's gonna end before it starts who, me yeah, or you? You. And I said, you're not. Okay. <laughs> said, I'm going to tell you how this trick goes before it starts. So, okay, I got so this. So you, you don't let me see it. I got you. Okay. I didn't tell you. <laughs> I said when it ends, it ends oh, up there. Okay. But it's going to do it a different way. Say stop is a drop like this. Stop. Right there. Go ahead. Now, I'm not going to try to memorize where your card's at. And you're not going to try. I don't want you to memorize where your card's at. Okay. okay. What I want you to do is we're going to use the heart to locate your card. Now, you, did you see about how many cards down it yes. was in the deck? Yes, but I'm you assuming did. it's already on top. Is it? Yeah, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be a good trick, wouldn't it? Watch. Okay. Here. We're going to mix these like this so you don't even know approximately where it's at. Oh. Wow. All right? That, it looked like you turned half the deck over. That was weird. Oh, it's just a cut. Yeah, okay. Take the heart, and I want you to place it on the, on the pack. On the what? Somewhere on the spread. Okay. Right here. Now look. It's not touching any of these cards. Okay. And if we were to go the x-ray through, I bet it's not on top of any of these cards. Right? Or these. All right. Now, 
Just spread these out a little bit more. Tom, do it again. Lay it down. All right, so we're gonna, oh, we're gonna get rid of these. And it's not touching this one. So you got three choices. Do you wanna move it left, right, or stay on the center? It's up to you. I know it is. It's, it's. What do you, what do you think, Seth? I, I think you're thinking too much. I think I was just gonna leave it on the same in the center. I knew you would. I know, I know. Right. damn it. You know what, we'll go slow on this one. Look, it wasn't this card, was it? No. Oh, that's a good one, though. It doesn't it's so good, I got it right there. <clears throat> it wasn't this one, was it? No. Now, I'm not going to lie. I told you it would end up under this card. Do me a favor. Hold out your hand. See, I told you it would end up under my heart, but I didn't tell you I was cheating. I said your card would end up under my heart. Look underneath my heart. On the other side, right there, it says it. Your card. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cheap gag. Every magician uses it. But the thing is, I can't change which one he stopped at. So. Oh, wow. Dude. <clears throat> I lost my concentration right there. <laughs> <laughs> when he did the flip that thing over to your card, yeah. I, my eyes went to there, and then he did the switch over when I was... Maybe Don't not. try to understand it. So you know this is a completely ordinary object. So when I do something that's out of the realm of ordinary with it, right? it automatically like lowers your guard. You might be the person that's trying to deconstruct. And you're trying to do that right now because it's like this setting, right? Right. But if we were out in a restaurant, so you might start out as that guy, but I'm going to break you down as yeah. I go. Because the whole thing about the magic is, and I tell people, like if I get a heckler or something, it's not about me trying to fool you. It's about me creating an illusion for you. Right. If you're trying to disrupt that, you're killing the illusion, not me and my skill. Yeah, right. That's true. But I but when you watch somebody do a trick, how are you when when what are you what are you looking for? You're trying to deconstruct it, aren't you? No, no. I'm when I'm watching somebody do a trick, I'm I'm watching for the effect. I want to see what the effect is. I want to see how you would respond to it. Okay. A lot of times with, with tricks now, like, like, or effect, excuse me, like when I'm learning new stuff or whatever, I'm not, I'm not concerned if it fools me or not. I'm concerned with what's, what's it going to do for you. Okay. You're not like, you don't see a trick and are like, oh my God, that's great. I can't wait to do that trick. No, there's, there is that instance, but I'm, but it may not be because it fools me. Okay. And I, and I left something that I meant to bring. It was, it was something that, that doesn't fool me, but I've seen it and I loved it. It's just a more or less a gag, but I'm like, oh, that's so great. Um, and how do you decide in your show what the big numbers are, what the big tricks are going to be? Well, like things like the, the blank card, okay? That's a really that, good trick. But see, usually that takes place with two people, right? So it, it, it's a powerful moment. They've each signed something, and now they're left with this bonded object, right? Right. So that's a real powerful moment for people. Um, one thing, here, I'll do it for you right now. Uh, you may, I don't know if you've seen the video I posted the other day of the guy at the restaurant. He was freaking out that okay. trick that I showed him. Right. <clears throat> That's another effect. It's another effect that. Um, <laughs> sorry, I can feel I can feel me getting under your skin. So. <laughs> Get near the fucking mic. Yeah, if anything up. happens, it's on me. Like this is my realm. Should have put a candy bar wrapper around here. I get real close <laughs> then. <laughs> but <laughs> from now on, when Adam comes in, we want um. Ice cream cone covered <laughs> mic, mic covers. But, but uh, like that effect that I did for him, it gets maybe not that wild of a reaction sometimes, but it, it sinks deep into people when they see it because it's like physically impossible. Right. Which I guess most magic is physically impossible. But uh, I think that's another reason I like close-up magic because when you're this close to something... Even if you do see a little something sometimes, it's it's still like an amazing thing, like the end of it. You know what I mean? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. It is really cool. It's, <coughs> so when like when like the guy next door that you've saw that taught you that first trick, 
Yeah. I, did 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 he, did he continue to do? Was he all? Was he a magician or yeah. was he? That's the no? only trick I've ever seen him do. Actually. Really? Yeah. He that that's the one he learned, and that was it. Wow, that's interesting. Now, do you like when when I saw that that reaction of that dude on online? I was like, that's the kind of guy that if that guy was three years younger, he's probably going to become a magician. Like that, can, he's going to have that. Like, probably. Maybe. Yeah. No, I don't think so. He wouldn't be that guy. No? No, but I'll tell you why. Okay, he was immersed in, in the feeling of astonishment, right? Whenever I got that feeling, I wasn't just immersed in that feeling. I was immersed in the feeling of, I want to do that to somebody. Right, oh, I want to, yeah. You know, he's just experiencing. That's just his experience, right? He has n no inclination to go learn or go get on YouTube and try to figure out the secret he just he was there for the experience for the moment. Okay. And I and I think that's the best part of magic is the moment. I I don't even like doing videos online. Like to be honest with you because yeah, it might fool you one time, but then you rewind it and then it might still fool you the second time, might fool you the 500th time. But like it's you're taking away that moment. The more you watch it and try to deconstruct it, you're taking that moment away from yourself. Yeah, I think you can see it in the videos. Like a video, you watch a magician do a video just in his at his own table in his own place. Blah blah blah. It's like ah, oh, it's a cool trick, but it's what makes those videos engaging to me is when I'm seeing somebody's reaction, mm -hmm. like you're talking about, or I feel like like for you, it's you're much more fun to watch like in the room doing the show than it is like watching somebody watching you do a video to nobody. And that's part of the moment. Cause you don't, that joy that you get from them being like, Oh my God, you, yeah. that's not there when you're just doing it for yourself and for a camera. Yeah. Instant yeah. feedback is nice. Yeah, well, the joy that the joy, not only that the, per, the, the viewer is getting, but that, that the magician himself gets from it, making the trick. If you only true. knew how many times, how many takes I, I, I do on uh, just even simple stuff, because maybe I'll stutter so I'll, and I'll just immediately go into Christian Bale and blaming the light guy and like everything. Yeah. But, you know, it's. I did the same thing when I was doing So Then There's This. I would really? sit there and I'd sit there and do a take and then I'd do, do it and I'd flub it and have to do another take. And it's just like you stumble on one word. And so it's like you're trying to do jokes and jokes are. Like a trick, they have to be done specifically. Yeah, and it's like you stumble here or there, and it's like, ah, fuck. Well, okay, that's like do, take another. Let's do another one. And um, what's sort of the grandest trick that you can kind of do in table magic? In you table I mean? magic, because I know, like, I'm assuming you can do you do a lot of like cards and the rubber bands and like and making making coins and stuff disappear. Like, what's your grandest <laughs> like sort of prop that you can kind of do? I don't I like um, the. Grandest prop I use is cards. I would say. Okay. <clears throat> the grand, but can you do? Do you do you start to like? The more you're in a place, do you start to be like, I, I, oh, I'm gonna incorporate that menu or this thing or blah 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 or people's well, phones. There's stuff that yeah. happens like that in the moment, like at people's phones, especially because it's just different. I don't want I don't want to tip that, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's there is things where in the moment I'll see stuff and I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna use that in just a second, you know. There is stuff like that. It's just same same as you in comedy. Like when you're veering into something, you might have like an old tag that just pops in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Um, so it's it's a lot like that. But as far as the grandest prop, I you know I can't say like I don't like to name like a coin or a card or something like that. The grandest prop, like their signature, like that. That's a really good one. Yeah. That's something real intimate to. Them. Like if I'm doing like a minimalism style routine, that thought they had is the prop. You know what I'm saying? So I try to do stuff that's 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 that creates a moment, right? Yeah, a, an unbelievable moment. Do you get excited every Friday because it's 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 showtime, or do you? It's like a job. It's like a job. Oh, I get excited every Friday. Yeah. The only th the only times that, I like did I've always thought that magic sort of lights you up, man. The the only time that I didn't get excited uh, was last year when I had the hernia, because some days I'd feel great, but the, 
I remember one Friday in particular, uh, and I think this was before I got hospitalized. Um, I was in so much pain. Like, I was in so much pain. On a scale and, of 1 to 10, pain. I mean, I guess, I, I can't say 10 because that's, that's reserved for pregnant people and people who fall out of planes. Um, but, like, I'm, I, I don't know, an, a 7 maybe, uh, you know, and, which is high to yeah, me. Yeah, that's... Um, but, like, <clears throat> I was in a lot of pain. And, and it wasn't just the pain. Like, when I would get the pain, it would come with this n nausea. It would be nauseating, you know? And um, the only semi-cure that I had for it was I needed to lay face down for hard to, hard about to do table minutes. magic laying face down. Yeah, you can't lay down. <laughs> <laughs> and I'd been there you, back then. Now I only do two hours on Fridays. Back then I was doing three hours a night. It was too much. It was too much for me. Is it now? Well, no, I could do three, but two hours is the golden golden spot you know well it seems like you'd have turnover it'd be all new people you can well kind of run through like that third what, what happens is is like before when i was coming in i would e it would either be that first hour would be before the rush had hit really so i'm like why am i here right or it would be that last hour they're already gone why am i here you know so i narrowed it down to two hours so like, this is the sweet spot of a rush pretty much you know in a restaurant but that that night I, I I'd been there I don't know an hour maybe an hour and a half and I I it was I was just navigating my body basically with my brain you know what I mean like yeah. I, I wasn't there and it's really hard to fake excitement for someone when you're in pain right. like, was that your card yeah. <laughs> oh good <Yeah>. good <laughs> hold on <laughs> you know like, and so. I went to the manager of the restaurant. They had like um, the side door that goes into this little empty hallway. I said, I got to go out here and lay down. And I, and there was like some pallets there. <laughs> I didn't want to lay on the ground. So I knocked these pallets down. I laid on these pallets. And I laid there for like 10 minutes. And my little lay down trick wasn't working anymore. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And, uh, and then I was just dreading standing up again. And walking the block to my car, you know. Um, uh, but but now that I've got the hernia taken care of, I'm I'm feeling better overall. It's 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 happiness every Friday when I go. Right. Now, um, most people that come in or most people come in are pretty open to having table magic. They're, yeah. They're not like people that be annoyed and like, why are you coming over to me? No. Uh, well, again, that candle thing. Right. So I'm not walking up just like, hey, pick a card. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm introducing myself. I'm letting them know they have an option other than without having to say no to me. You know what? I, and I think that in itself eases people. And then what do they start to see reactions from other tables? And then they're like, ah, turn oh, my yeah. light on. Come yeah, on. I've had that. Happen. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Um, Does it generate like where? You know, like you get like multiple table, like it becomes like a show that you're doing for like a, a section of the restaurant or like a, you know? A few times occasionally. It depends on the routine that I'm doing too. But if I do see other table, like a, one of my favorite things is like a table that doesn't have their light on when I, when I see them doing that, you know? Yeah. What's going on over there? I know I've gotten their interest, right? And so I might, I might call attention to them and or incorporate them somehow. Uh, because my job is I want to make it fun for everybody who's there. Not just this table, right. but specifically if the ta the lights on the table, I'm gonna come over and do something for you. And the restaurant is like they're cool. They just they want you approaching people. Oh, they man. they oh, don't he, they don't they don't care if people don't get offended. Blah blah blah. They just they're it, like happy he's literally the greatest man. Like uh, he he basically told me as long as I can basically do anything as long as it doesn't destroy the building. And I think his words were, and if it does destroy part of the building, just come ask me first. You know, like he's very cool, man. Does he have a, Does he have room there for you to be like, hey, everybody, I'm going to do a, just a regular, I'm going to do a show here while you're one one night. I mean, there there would there, there would be room, but I mean, I wouldn't want to do that in a restaurant. Oh, okay. Just because you know they're they're eating, you know, like yeah. 
I like the idea of an intimate show of clothes. But um, do you have any desire to do like shows like like if you had like a, you know, like a go and working for a week on a ship or something and working a week in, in Vegas or at Cherokee Casino and like to have a, a show that you have that's kind of a book show that you carry with you in a suitcase and go do in, in a theater or whatever. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Yeah. Do, do I have it in me to go look for that? No. But if it fell in my lap, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I thought a lot of success just falls into people's laps. Yeah, they don't really, I know. They don't really do anything to go get it or, you know. It, well, <laughs> so there answers your question. No, yes. I don't really. I don't yeah. I don't really have a... The only thing that makes me desire to, like, go get on a ship and do it is just the paycheck. Right. I don't know, because I've never done it, maybe it would be fun. I think you'd have fun, man. You have a person, like, not just because of the show. I mean... You could stay in your room the whole time if you want and just go do your shows or you could, you know, walk around and it's like, it's like then you'd be you'd, like all around the ship. You'd probably be running into people and having fun and, you know, you could do sleight of hand. It's like, it's like table magic, but just as everybody's walking around and, you know, not that, not that you need, not that I've never even seen a, magi- I've never even seen a magician doing that on ship, but you know, it's how long are the sets they do? Uh, forty-five minutes. Oh, the same as a comedy show. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's like they do. There's usually if you have if you have two f- sort of family-friendly forty-five-minute shows, you could literally yep. make a good living just doing what the you love. The only thing that doesn't excite me about magic is like kids' magic. I don't, and it, and it's not. What's there's no. Di- what do you mean? Kids oh, there, there's a big difference. Why? Why? Yeah. Oh my God! You've never performed for children, have you? I perform, but there's kids in the crowd regularly. It's just I just do my adult show, and then I just don't curse in it. And yeah, then yeah. The kid, and then there's times where the kids How old sort of start kids? to get they're anywhere. They're fucking obnoxious. They're rolling around. Sometimes they're like, exactly. they, okay, he said it. He some, said the word obnoxious. Well, they're and, sometimes and you enjoy that. No, well, sometimes they are. Sometimes, but everybody else in the mm. room sees it too. So as long as you're not a dick to them, then you can be sort of like. But hey, you yeah. know you're ruining a show. You know what that means? You know what I mean? Like, and, oh, I know. But, you know, but see, that's the thing. Kids are, how do you say, stupid. Uh, so you tell them they're ruining a show. Well, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to keep ruining this show. Yeah. You know, it's not like a drunk guy that you can have thrown out. They're not. They don't really. They don't. They're usually pretty well behaved. Yeah, but, yeah, but you're and, talking you know. at a comedy show. They're seeing some dude up there talking. They don't give a fuck I, yeah. Well, him. I watch them. I watch them at the magic shows, too. They're, you know. Okay. But at a magic show, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb here. Because, okay, a lot of times, it depends on the kid, honestly, but like an obnoxious kid with magic will just continue being obnoxious and will keep doing like what you, like when I showed you, well, can you do it with this? Can you do it with two? Can you do it? Hey, can you make that float? Hey, 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 hey. You know, they, they, they're constantly challenged, challenged, challenged. Like, what is this, the fucking Olympics? Like, right, okay. You know, I'm not reaching the mountain for this. Fucking drooling bag of. <laughs> <I think. laughs> let's go. Let's just see what we got here. Okay. Let's start out. Shuffling these up. That way, you know, there's no water. Things like that. It's all chaos. All right. Now, I'm going to look away, and I want you to pull one out. It sucks that I'm looking into a reflective. Don't worry. I'm not going to show you. All right. Yeah. Okay. Show you. Wait, show him. See. Show the camera. Nice. Don't show me. Okay. All right, I'm going to dribble these like this. I want you to say stop any point. Stop. Right here. Now, did you take one or two cards, Tom? I took one card. Did you really? Yeah. I th- well, I seen you look up at him, and so I thought I thought he was, like, doing a thing, right? Mm-hmm. All right, so look. Look. Did you see your card in that waterfall, that little cascade of... I did not. That's <laughs> You get him... Take the take the deck and shuffle those up for me in the best way you can. I, I know he's staring at me right now. I'm trying to watch your hands. Oh, uh, see, you are a pretty good shuffler, Tom. So let me get these out of the way here. This, oh, before you hand it back to me, this, the card's already gone from the deck. No, before you hand it back to me, make sure it's not on top, and make sure it's not on bottom. Why does he think it's already gone from the deck? Why do you think that? Because that's how magic works. Yeah, that is how magic works. <laughs> that is how magic works. <clears throat> well, 
Because I one thing I know about magic is is that you the idea is you don't you, you you're not it's not really open to for it to go wrong, right? It's huh? you don't really the trick is the trick's gonna work. Oh, no, no, no. It's like the, what was the, the card while ago that oh, he hit? Yeah. Seven of diamonds. Yeah. The seven of diamonds. It's like that trick, right? Right. Now, I don't want you to pick the seven of diamonds. Wait, you've already picked the card. Yes. Okay. So, that kind of defeats the purpose here. Right here. That's okay. back to that two of diamonds again. Yeah. Okay. Now that wasn't your. That was his card earlier, right? It was my card earlier, I think. That was uh, your card earlier. It was in the. Game. So we'll we'll change that. We want your new card, the the king. Um, that is fucking crazy, dude. Come on. <laughs> what? Even if I know it's sleight of hand, it's still really. That's really good. But. <clears throat> So again, that's even a, though I know you're not a sorcerer, that's pretty cool. That dude. is really. It's like I mean I don't know. It's just it's just it's a sort of legit skill, man. That's really good. So so that's another example of me weaving, right? I knew what you had spotted already. I knew what you were looking for already. What do you mean? What do you mean when I'm when looking? You said it was out of the deck and all oh, that yeah, other yeah. stuff. Like I knew that you where were, my eyes were going. I knew everything. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's an example of what I do. I, you know, I'm I'm not just doing this for you, right? I'm trying to read what you're doing too. Okay, what am I doing? Well, no, no, no. like when I'm performing, like I could tell, like you're 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 very cautious. It's you're very untrusting. Okay, <laughs> you, you hear what I'm saying? Like, yes. <clears throat> like whenever if if I look this way, you're like. No, where's he? No, <laughs> you know, like yeah. <laughs> turn... anytime I catch myself, like when you let, when you got me to look up at Seth, I'm like, damn it! <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, like I'm thinking, and I think I overthink. Like it's not that's not how the trick works. I'm like, I don't like like when I'm shuffling. I'm like, it's already gone. The king's already gone from here. It's already somehow in. Yeah, because you picked the king. You didn't pick right. the five. You picked the king. That <laughs> what? Um... <laughs> so... <laughs> but you know, there's. It's it's just me knowing what you're like, where your focus is. Does right? it really matter where my focus is? The trick's going to work the way it's going to work. No, it's not always going to work. This isn't the ending I had planned for that. The the the, the king you just you just picked. Oh, okay. What do you mean? Is it over? Well, it could be, but there's the king. <laughs> it could be, um, but no, that's that's not the ending I had planned. So, so the trick I showed the Asian guy here, pick a different card this time. He wants the king again. <laughs> Is that the king? <laughs> oh, that's why he picked it. Okay. Right? Yeah. Okay. Do you know the card? I got it. Yeah. I got it. All right. Do you know it? Uh, no, I don't. I have no clue what this card is. It's the four hearts. Yeah. When do you when at what point do you know what what the card is? Right now. You know what it is right yeah, it's now. It's right here on bottom. No. Huh? No. It wasn't the five? No. Oh uh, wait, was it? No. That's your card. <laughs> That's your card still. Okay. Yeah, it's my old card. That wasn't your new card though? No. You just repicked the king. You quit doing this, making me forget what my card was. <laughs> you got it on camera though, don't yeah, you? Yeah, he picked the king and then he put it back <laughs> right. and then he yeah. picked the different one. So I'll do stuff like that. See whenever you look down at my hands just then. Yeah. You thought something happened, didn't you? No, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to see. It's not that happened no, yet. it's not my card. It's not your card. It's still, it's that's not, still your not card. my card. Okay, so look, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna try to find your card. Oh, okay. All right, but I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna hold it like this. Damn it. Look, watch, watch. You'll see it move. You'll see it move. You'll see it there. Oh, you see it move? No. Yeah, it's moving. You didn't see it move? Whoa. I did not see it move. You didn't <laughs> see it move. And why is that though, Tom? You didn't see it move. Because it you was were, already moving. No, you were staring at the car. You were staring at the car. You were staring at the deck. You were. He was staring at that. Everybody's staring. Right. Well, where did the car come from? I don't know. You did the magic. You, you know, you it. know, because look, here, pick up, lift half the deck, half the deck up. Okay. Now look, place it back on. I'm going to do some magic and it's right here on top. And it's, and it goes to the top because that's the top of the deck, right? No, it goes to the, you were right. 
You did the magic. Yeah, I did it. See? How did I do that? <laughs> so yeah, that's what I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's the trick. You, you made the marker disappear. Watch. Oh, it's in sleep. See that? I, was, I thought that, it went in that sleeve. No, it's just for you. Yeah. Oh yeah, people do think it goes in that sleeve. It's over here. Oh, that's <laughs> really cool. But anyway, all right. <clears throat> I just done that because he always, you know. Uh, it in, in the, the sleeve. sleeve yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. So anyway. Uh, anyway, so in this one, here's where I want you to focus on this time. Okay. Okay? My pocket. Okay, I'm going to get over here for you. Okay. I want you to really check that pocket out. That's okay. It looks empty. No, no, no. Make sure, make sure there's like not, make sure it's a real pocket, Tom. Make sure there's not like a trap or trap door, I mean. Or a bag of hot chips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Might be a bag of pocket. Okay, it's just a regular, regular, regular old, old deck of cards. Okay, or pocket. Yeah. Now regular old deck of cards. Now this time, pick out a card, and I'm okay. You do it that way too. Oh, how'd you want me to do it? Pick oh, it? I was gonna say you can look at it and pick out one that you actually want, or you can do this. One. I like this one. Okay, and it doesn't matter if I see the card, but look, it doesn't matter if I see. It. That's good. I wanted you to get one you could write on. I want you to sign it so well, that you. I'm gonna ruin your deck. Who gives a shit? It's my deck. I can ruin it if I want. Right? <laughs> So I want you to sign the, on the face here, okay. so you know that is the only two. Of, what? Did, oh, I thought I was like, that's how I sign my credit cards. What does that say? Trump sucks. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> what year is it? <laughs> what year? Is yeah. It? <laughs> okay. So He's still around. Here's the misdirection part, right? That's the misdirection. Did you see it go? I saw I you. Saw it go in the middle. I did too. I, I you didn't see it go. I did not see it go. I did not see you palm it. I did not see you. You didn't. Um, huh. To the pocket. Now, you checked that pocket. There was no other cards there. Right? right? Shit. These cards are getting sticky now. Might have to redo this. Here. We'll place it back. We'll redo it again. Okay? Did you see it go this time? No. For real? For real. I did not see it go. And you were burning it. What do you mean I was burning it? The, you, you were watching I it. I was watching it, yeah. Give me a favor. Reach in my pocket. <laughs> it's gay, Tom. Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Watch. Oh, that ain't the two. I'm just kidding. It is. It is. Uh, it is the two. All right. So, look. That's kind of how it works, right? But it's never in your pocket, right? Huh? <laughs> that's a really cool trick. Go ahead. It's never in my pocket. Is that what he's saying? Yeah. yeah. That's what he's trying to say to me, isn't it? All right, so look here. I'm going to make it go to the center then. All right? Now you know it's in the center. Whoa. That went on the center of the okay, table. That's cool because I thought it was already gone. All right, that's no, huh? Cool. Look, I know. it's in the center. That's good. It's in the center of the center, and now it's in the center of the center of the center. Right. Right, but it's gone. To the pocket. It was the two of clubs. What? All right. <clears throat> Now, <laughs> is that your Don Madden? <laughs> yeah, <it's, laughs> now I'm going to teach you how it goes. All right. So you're watching a lot of things when I do this, right? No, when not. I go to square it into the center, it's in your hand. I palm it. Ah. And then when I go to the pocket, it looks like it comes from the pocket. Mm. So watch it at speed. We'll try it again. I'll sp you palm it out. It's an already palmed right there? Yeah. Sorry, Tom. That's what I thought before, and then I saw it in the deck. Yeah, because it's an invisible palm. Oh, and then, right. then I sneak it to the pocket. Go, go, go ahead. I, I won't fuck with you this time. Reach in there. Is that your two? It is. <laughs> that's real. That's... It's like a. It did keeps you see going. how I did it? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'm going to do it one more time. Look here. You place it in about halfway. Did you see it go that time? Um, Not your card, the deck. Did you yeah. see the deck what? disappear <laughs> and go to the pocket? Oh. Did you see that? No. <laughs> Yeah. That's really good, yeah. man. Oh, thank you, man. Here, let me give that back. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's really good. I'm <clears throat> sucked, baby. <laughs> <laughs> do, do either one of y'all have a ring? No, my wife and mine disappear. <laughs> yeah, you still call her your wife? Mine's too big. No, she is. Slips she off is all the time. <laughs> Uh, I, I, got, I got too fat for it, actually. 
I so think he's got there's a, did you did you really? I got a little big, yeah. It doesn't fit those are, it doesn't fit anymore. How small were those hands before? Well, those, those, are, those are good. Those are really look tall. They're yeah. <laughs> hands to me. But um, usually I'll borrow a ring and do and do the trick with. But uh, you know this where oh, I pull I it off, ring. snap, and then it comes back, right? So that's that's like a fun thing for me to do. But then when I when I give you the ring and then you check it out and make sure, right? <clears throat> Dang, that could be your new wedding ring. <laughs> But you've checked it. You know there's not like... I'm going to win her back, dude. I'm going to win her back. I'm a winner back. <laughs> you know there's not like trap doors or anything in the ring. No, I wasn't really... So this is why it. I like to borrow uh, your ring for this, right? So watch, watch. Um, I would, if it'll fit like that far on my finger. Now watch, I'm not going to go near the tips of my finger, but watch it. Right through the base, uh, I can, I can kind of pull that ring through. Now that's that's kind of hard to hard to follow here. Let's try it again. Watch, I'll just pull like this, what? and see it'll go right <laughs> through. Now you're watching right here. You probably want to see the other side, right? <clears throat> so you're watching. Watch it go through it, right there to the pinky. I don't go near the tips. Watch, watch the pinky. One, two, three, and see it comes right through to you. Now check it out. And see, this is the part where I would borrow your ring, all right? But I don't have a ring for you to borrow, but <clears throat> that's the ring effect. Would you do nice. that? Could you do that with a ring I gave you, too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was this your wedding ring? No, it was like a, it was like a every day's our anniversary ring. I don't feel, yeah. it, don't so feel it too like, well on me, but you hear solid and solid, right? Yes. So, you've seen the trick on stage, the linking rings. Watch, watch. Right. Can you get this on camera? Mm -hmm. All right, watch. I'm going to rub these two rings together. Like this, like this, like this. Like that. What? Like that. No, no, no. no. It's on there. You can't shake or throw that ring off. You can, you can feel, feel. They don't just come through there. Dude, you don't want to pull too hard, Tom. Watch, when you pull too hard, it's actually just a, it's like pulling a loose tooth. You just want to lift it like that. <laughs> it, it's an illusion here. That's yours, that's mine. Check them out. Did you? No. <laughs> Wouldn't that be great if I all of a sudden you handed it to me and I was like, oh, look, I can do it too. That's, so that's just an illusion. You're not, you don't have like another fake ring that then, that then works. Cause it's gonna... How the fuck are you doing that? Like getting it to go from one thing. Can you make mine go from one finger to the next of yours? You can do, you can do that or you can, I mean, you, it's a ring effect. But the, my favorite part is that linking ring. Because it you, looks so It does good. look cool, but so does moving it from one finger to the next. Like, I don't know how you do that. Do you have any mm -hmm. idea? Do you have any guesses? Nope. My only thing is that there might, he has your another ring. ring. I, my only ring thing is he has might, another ring like this that. that your, your ring might be a, it, it'd probably be a little too tight for me to do that other thing. Right. Could you do that ring with somebody else's ring that was of size? Yeah, if it was, if it could fit my finger, yeah. And you, but you can't do it sort of top of finger. Can you make it move through my fingers? No, that would be that, really cool. That would, that You're would being be like cool. those little kids right now. Tom. I guess I am. <laughs> yeah. No, I did. Right. Well, I know I disappointed you now. Tom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's funny. Like you watch a magic guy and he goes, "Is this your card? Yes, it is." Can you make that lady disappear? Like, yeah. wait a minute, those aren't the same tricks. Yeah, that's that's what happens. Right? Yeah, that's you see me earlier, right? Right. It, when I with with um. That, that's the silver dollar that changed everything. Oh, yeah, that's I reach up and you pull a coin out of air, right? What if I can make you do that? Me pull a coin out of the air? Yeah. Uh, that would be cool. Nice look. 
I'm trying to force you it up. <clears throat> reach up, reach up, pull a coin out, and lay it in my hand. There's one. There's one. Go ahead, go ahead. Get another one. I'm not just getting out of my pocket. It's right here, right here. Oh, you in your pocket? No, no, no. Get, get, get one of these out of the air. Oh, that one's worth more. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so that's two. Now, before uh, you, you done two. I. They, they, they look okay, but I need a third trick. To do it, I need a third coin. And you reach up, pick a third coin out of there. Here, we'll place them here. That's one, two, three coins. One, two, three coins. Watch, watch. All I gotta do is wave. There we go. And one, two, three coins comes to fruition, right? Oh. <clears throat> I know. <laughs> it's weird. But now, I'm gonna, now that they're here, I'm going to show you something cool with these coins, right? I'm going to show you the coins across. And this is how the coins across works. They're going to start here. They're going to end here. That's the visual summary of this trick. So they start here, and it's going to go up the sleeve, across the chest, and down to this sleeve, or down to this hand here. Watch the first one. It happens that fast. That's the first one across. Now watch the second one. Oh, that hurt. It goes that <laughs> fast. Wow. Right? That leaves one here. Now look, <clears throat> I'm not throwing them. I'm not throwing them across back and forth, nothing like that, right? The hands, they never cross, did they? I didn't see them. You didn't, you didn't see them. So watch the last two. Watch, it's gonna join these two. One, two, three. Like that, and you get all three half dollars back like that. <clears throat> wow. Was that a good trick? Was that yeah. good? Yeah, that's a good trick. Well, you hang them back up in the air after that. Huh? Uh, they're right here. Oh, yeah, as I <laughs> said, I have to hang them. There they go. All three. <laughs> That's great, man. You did it, Tom. What? I did. You did it. You pulled them out of the air. Yeah, I did. Can I get my money back, please? <laughs> <laughs> I like.